why is this a moment that we should be so concerned about? Because the most powerful people in the world are trying to destroy our news organizations. They are, I mean, the president is trying to destroy our news organizations. Um, that has never happened in our nation's history as far as I'm aware. Well, John Mitchell, the former Attorney General of the United States, threatened to uh, put body parts of Kay Graham uh, through the ringer okay. uh, during v- Watergate find me, and, find me and, when and Nixon threatened their, threatened their financial underpinnings by threatening their TV license. Find me when Nixon, a criminal president, actually used the word enemy to describe us in public. Even Nixon knew not to go that far. He had a, he had a real enemies list. He did not use the rhetoric that President Trump uses in public. He, President Trump is poisoning the American people specifically a subset of the American people that has been infected by the poison. It is getting worse every day. And we're going to reckon with the consequences for decades. And I, you know, I don't mean to be the pessimist. Uh, I actually, some days I'm very optimistic. I wake up glass half full a lot of days. And I think Trump's pretty weak right now. And, uh, and we're going to get through this. And it's an aberration. Other days I wake up and I think, how are we going to win people back? Uh, every single day he's beating the you know what out of the press. Not just CNN, but many, many outlets tarring the nation's news media, along with other institutions. I find myself wondering in 20 years when we look back, will we think this was an emergency? Why didn't we step up and say this is an emergency? Now, many of us do call it a crisis, right? There's a crisis of credibility with the White House. There's also a crisis of credibility for the press. We're clearly flawed, and I don't think we should pretend like we're not flawed and we don't make mistakes. But rather than hang on the mistakes and focus on the mistakes, which are few and far between, you know, there's this incredible amount of journalism being produced every day that's being dismissed by a segment of the population. And I, I take your point about the headlines about why people hate the media. There's always been that theme. There's always been an ability to dismiss unpleasant or unwanted news. But it's been supercharged and lit on fire and fueled now by, by the boss, by the, by the president. And that is clearly what's different and clearly what's a threat. I, I just, I think we have to ask ourselves, if this is an emergency, what should, you, what should I, what should we be doing differently? If this is a crisis, what should we be doing differently? Will we be proud of ourselves in 20 years?